Hi, Joss. Um, I, I guess after the chase the other night, you were probably fairly happy with where you were at halfway in this game, were you? Yeah, we were. Um, I think the wicket was uh, probably a little bit slower than everyone expected. Um, so, yeah, I think 160 was about a par score. Um, I thought we bowled really well in the, the back sort of 10-15 uh, overs there to restrict them. Can, can you put your finger on exa exactly why the, the big sort of shortage of boundaries in the, in the first half of the innings? You just, I guess, each of you c couldn't quite find a way to, to do what some of the South Africans did at the top, especially to cock, and actually find a way to, to get those boundaries to get the pressure released. Yeah, exactly. I think um, that's the difference in the game. I, I think um, the way Quinny played at the top, um, you know, sort of really put us under a lot of pressure and, um, yeah, played some great shots, uh, and we weren't able to match that. And, and just in with with the fielding uh, today, you you produced a couple of excellent dismissals. South Africa picked up the bat, and, and actually the, the catch at the end was that almost a another winning moment. The, the catch off Brook because it's it's not a percentage catch. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a great catch, and you know that's what uh, I think South Africa for you know over a long long period of time have prided themselves on on great fielders. You think of Rhodes, Gibbs, De Villiers, all these guys. Um, so yeah, I think they always are a good fielding team. When the uh, when the final equation of this group is is set up and you find out whether you go through again, might you end up extremely thankful to Harry Brook that this was a defeat but not a big one? Yeah, I think um, look, we we played really well at there. I think Brook and Livingston had a fantastic partnership to, uh, like I say, on a slow wicket where um, other other guys struggled. Um, you know, I thought their partnership was brilliant and you know, they got us to a, a position where um, you know, you're probably looking like your favourites at one point to, to go on and win the game. So, um, yeah, I think not really uh, the big picture is obviously net run rate is, is that, but um, yeah, I thought that was an awesome partnership and just couldn't quite finish it off. And I, know, I know it's quite fresh after the game, but can you allow yourself to feel positive-ish about a single figures defeat because, because it is that tight? Yep. Okay, George, please. Um, have you changed the balance of the side a wee bit since the start of the tournament? And what's the thinking behind that? Uh, I wanted to have four team options. Um, so that's the, the reason for changing the balance. Uh, Sam gives us the, that fourth seamer option and also another left handed batter. Would that be more useful generally on wickets that were more like they were the other night? You know, really high scoring wickets. Uh, it, I mean, did you think it was going to be that sort of wicket again? Did it look very similar? It does from where we are. Uh, yeah, it looked a, a similar wicket. Um, you know, the games of um, this has been so far in the tournament the best best batting pitch. Um, yeah, we're very happy with the the side we picked. Just you, like you're not taking many early wickets but seem to get into a position with the ball where you'd probably be quite happy with, I guess. Is that fair? And why do you think you're not getting the wickets but are getting to where you want to be? How do you kind of sum up how you're going with the ball? Sorry, say the question again. <laughs> Sorry. The, you're not taking too many wickets with the new ball but are probably getting to where you want to be with like the targets. Maybe if, I don't know if you agree. What do you think? And why do you think you're not getting wickets to the ball with the new ball? And what do you think of how you've gone generally as a result of that? Uh, for me, um, yeah, I think um, yeah, we, you know, everyone's striving for early wickets in in T20 cricket. Um, you know, it's the it's the best time to bat, obviously, and but the ball can swing a bit. So I thought Topley was bowled really well. The tougher overs in the power play today were from the bottom end, um, which Decock really took took on and took some risks and and played well. So as I mentioned, I felt like the power play was the difference in the game. I think uh, the way Quinny could bat at the rate that none of us could bat at for um, you know but like I say yeah we fought back brilliantly well with the ball and restricted a really strong lineup to, to what was about a par score probably Just could I just ask about the wind it feels like it's played a massive role in the two games here could you just talk a bit about sort of how you tried to use that both as a batting side and a bowling side and I suppose whether today's was even bigger than a couple of nights ago yeah, the, the wind's been playing a big part in, in all the games with just you know, a simple plan to try and get people to hit into the wind as, as opposed to with it. Um, that's another reason for the team balance like we have, to have that four-seamer and, and another left-handed batter. So it gives us 
uh, another option, you know, the left-hand, right-hand combination to try and have somebody hitting with the wind.